In this video we are having a look at the BWMFI indicator. It's the colorful indicator for the Market Facilitation Index by Bill Williams. BW is for Bill Williams and MFI is for the Market Facilitation Index. The Market Facilitation Index can create bars in several colors. The MFI indicator is used to find correlations between the indicator and the volume. So if you want to know how to use it, just go to the Wikipedia webpage for the Market Facilitation Index. They also say as an indicator on its own the MFI is of no significant value, but it's part of MQL5 and MetaTrader 5. So now we want to find out how we can create an expert advisor that is able to calculate the BWMFI value on our chart. To do that, please click the little button here or press F4 on your keyboard. And now you should see the Meta Editor window and here you want to select File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this one simple BWMFI. Now click on Continue, Continue and Finish. And now everything above the OnTick function can be deleted. And we also want to remove the two command lines here. We start by creating an array for the Expert Advisor. We will call it BWMFI Array. It's a double array, so it can hold floating type values. And now we want to define the BWMFI Expert Advisor. And we use the MQL5 function IBWMFI. That's a built-in function. You can find it in the MQL5 reference in the technical indicator section and it just needs three different parameters. The first one is for the symbol, the second one for the period and the third parameter is for the applied volume. Actually when you click on insert indicators Bill Williams market facilitation index you will see that the standard value is the tick volume, so we are going to use underscore symbol for the currently selected currency pair on the chart, underscore period for the time period you have selected on your chart, and the third parameter is volume tick, because we want to use the standard default volume that comes with the market facilitation index indicator. Okay, let's go on and Sort the array from the current candle downwards. This is done by using array set as series. For the BWMFI array we have created here. And for our defined EA we want to use the data for one buffer. That's basically for the first indicator line. For example for I bands, the Bollinger bands, we would have three different buffers. The baseline would be buffer 0, the upper band would be buffer 1, and the lower band would be buffer 2. We need to use the value from the current candle for at least 3 candles and store it in our array. So we use copy buffer for the BWMFI definition for buffer 0, because this histogram here just needs one buffer. And we copy the values from candle 0, that's the current candle. Candle 0 is always the candle that is built on the right side here. This would be candle 1, candle 2, candle 3 and so on. And we want to store the data in the BWMFI array we just created. And now we can actually calculate the value for the current candle. To do that we just have to have a look at the values for candle 0 of the BWMFI array and we use normalize double and the 5 because the indicator just needs to have 5 digits behind the dot. And finally we create a chart output. This is done by using the command function. It will output the word BWMFI value followed by the actual value that we have calculated here. Okay, that's it. Let's click on the compile button or press F7. 
and now you should see zero errors and zero warnings and in that case you can click on the button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader you want to click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. And here you want to select the simple bwmfi.ex5 file, mark the visualization option here and click on Start. And now you should see something like this on your chart. You can see colorful bars here. Here is the calculated value, and as I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this indicator, but maybe you want to try it out, and now you have coded it with a few lines of MQL5 code.